Okay, so let's give you guys some practice now. Use um, use a combination of integration by parts and trigonometric substitution in order to integrate this. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, um, visualize visualize this as one block and uh, this as another block, and then set this to be uh, v prime and set this to be u. So if if this is u, then u prime will be would be this. If this is v prime, then integrate it, and v would be this. So now blindly use this formula. Um, so uh, so it's saying get u times v. So it's saying get u times v. That will then give us this thing here. And then you've got your minus minus. And then uh, and then it's saying get u prime times v. It's saying get u prime times v. Which is this thing here, uh, and then and then you've got a constant here, two over three, two over three. Um, so that so that will then take you to well, u prime times v will then take you to this thing here, okay. And then uh, and then now use trigonometric substitution. So your eyes should zoom into this bit here. Now create a triangle in such a way, create a triangle in such a way that this block will be true. Well, if you make the opposite to be x. The adjacent to be one, then the then the hypotenuse would have no choice but to be the square root of x squared plus one. So this thing here is very similar to this thing here. So um, so now if well later on if, if you want this what you do is um, well uh, if you look at this secant is secant theta is hypotenuse over adjacent which is this thing here. So if you square it. Uh, if you square it, it will give you secant squared theta, and then you've got x squared plus 1. Now you can put this into this block here. That will then give you this thing here. And then looking at the triangle, um, if you look at this, tan, tan is this. So tan, tan theta equals opposite over adjacent, which will be this. Uh, and, then, and, then, uh, and then differentiate it. That will then give you this. So we, can, we, we now have dx. We can put this into the dx, which will be which will be this, and then and then your x to the power of four. Well, if you look at the diagram, x to the power of four, x is this thing here. X is tan theta. X is tan theta. So um, so x to the power of four would be tan to the power of four. So that would then give you this. So this whole thing here would then become this. So now let's 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 work on this now. So hang on. So if you tidy this up, if you um, if you tidy this up, this will cancel out with this, and then that will then take you to here, and then use the reduction formula for tan. So the reduction formula, remember, n is four, Rn is four. So using the reduction formula on uh, on on this bit only. So you've got your minus minus. 2 over 3, 2 over 3. So using the reduction formula, this whole thing here would then become would then become this thing here. So let's let's try and do it. So remember n is 4. So it's saying get 4, take away 1, which will be 3. And then you've got your uh, 4 take away 1, which will be 3. And then you've got your minus, minus, and then 4 take away 2, that will be 2. So uh, so this whole thing here would then become this and now tidy this up hang on so tidy uh, tidy this up so this times this would then give you this this times this would then give you this now use the reduction formula again on this bit here uh, on uh, on this bit here so you've got your 2 over 3 your 2 over 3 so hang on let's go back to the reduction formula so using the reduction formula on 10 squared uh, remember n is 2 Okay, n is two. So using the reduction formula on this bit, um, it, it will it will give you this. It will give you this. So let's let's do it. Uh, it's saying get two. Remember n is two. So two take away one, which will be one. And then you've got your your ten. Uh, your your two take away one, which will be one. And then you've got your minus minus. And then you've got your two take away two. That will be zero so anything to the power of zero will be one so so using the reduction formula on this would take you to here so now hang on 
So now tidy this up. If you um, if you tidy this up, this times this will then give you this, and then uh, this times this. Well, when you integrate the one, it will just give you theta, and then plus your constant. And then uh, so so this is your answer, but you don't want the answer in terms of theta. Here you've got something in terms of theta. Here you've got something in terms of theta. Here you've got something in terms of theta. So going going back to our original diagram, this was our original diagram. Let's translate these three blocks. So tan tan would be this. Tan tan um, tan theta equals x. So looking at this, so if you um, well cube both sides, so this thing here will then become x. This thing here will then become x to the power of three. Sorry. And then this thing here would then uh, well this thing here is just x. Um, and then this thing here, if you if you want to know theta, then uh, inverse tan inverse tan of x. So theta equals inverse tan of x. So you can now put this block into 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 where into here, and then and then that would then become this thing here. So your final answer would be this thing here. Okay.